Hello everyone, welcome to Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the Windows update, how we can disable it. Just a couple of days ago, Windows 11 update screwed up Windows 11 taskbar. As you can see from Reddit, there are a couple of posts discussing this taskbar not loading issue, cannot open explorer or settings. The issue has been identified as a server-side deployment that went out to insiders, which is basically causing by Windows Update. The fix is also very simple, just a one register key, then you should be able to get everything back to normal. Of course, you have to reboot it. So that brought out uh, today's topic, how we can disable Windows Update. I had a video previously talking about uh, how to disable Windows 10 Update services. There are a couple of services we might need to do disable and change the registry key to disable them. And it is a manual process. In this video, I'm going to show you a small application software then which we can use it in a Windows 11 system to disable Windows 11 update. Let's start it. This is my Windows 11 machine, which is right now running in a VMware workstation. I'm going to use it to demonstrate the process, how to download the software, how to install it, how to, how to use it. So first thing, I'm going to show you Windows Update. Just search Update. Then you can see Check, up, check for Update option. They already have a couple of um, updates available right now. And it also have a driver VMware display update. You can choose download and install. The Windows update is good things for keep your system updated or software components updated and also keep your system secure. But sometimes you may want to disable LAN for your testing lab environment. So that's the whole purpose. We are going to using this software to disable Windows Update in case there's some issues with your testing. The software name is Windows Update Broker. Let's search for it. So Windows Update Blocker version 1.6 coming from uh, Sorton.org, this company. I have been using this software for a couple of years already. It's running well on Windows 10. I also test Windows 11. It's also working well. So this is the guide how you can enable the update or disable update with one small Windows client GUI interface. Actually, it just go to same way as I did in my previous video. Disable those services, one is more automatic way using a third party software, another one is just using manual process which shows in my previous video. So let's go to download link shows at the almost bottom of this post. There's some advertisement which shows up which may cause in your confusing for the download link. Make sure you get this direct download link. Don't be confused but I'll download button shows in the ad. We can open the file.
from our download folder. It's a zip file which includes one WUB folder inside of it. The 32-bit application and the 64-bit application. Also, this README text document shows you all release on the update. There's a configuration file which is providing basically providing the settings for this software. Double click on WB underscore x64.exe file. Click yes. So right now the situation we enable update by default that the option has been enabled. So we want to disable it. And then we want to protect service settings as well. Once we disable it, we don't want it to start it automatically. So let's apply now. Please wait after a couple of seconds. The service status shows red with a cross on it, that icon. We can check about those services. What kind of service can I enable it? So let's check the update options here. This is the Windows update page. Then Windows services, which we're going to check it. The status for those services. One thing I want to show is uh, what kind of services has been disabled. All those services was enabled, but right now we can tell they are disabled. This is Windows Update Service, Deliver Optimization Service, Windows Update Matic Service, and Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Those four services are disabled. Only update aux charter service enabled right now. You can have option to disable that as well. Save settings. If you want to enable updates, you can also go here just to enable update. Then you can quickly check the status for those services. Let's go down to Windows Update. And the Windows Update Matic service right now is disabled because we will disable them. Let's refresh it. As you can tell, they are running. Now we do disable. And remember, we checked service list option. We put a disable as well. So we now trying to disable all of them. Refresh, the services has been disabled. This small software is very helpful. If you are going to disable your Windows update, just one click and apply the settings, it will be the Windows 11 update gonna be disabled. It also works for Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 2012, Windows 2016, I believe Windows 2019 as well. So if you have this request to disable Windows Update, you can use this software, which is gonna very helpful. And it also has been checked by Wireless Total, which shows clean. If you go into Wireless Total page to see the status of this file, it shows clean by all anti-malware engines. You also can submit this file to Wireless Total to check it again by doing uploading choose file from your download folder. If you don't trust this software, you can use in Wireless Total's free scanning service 
to check it. If you still feel unsafe to use this software, you can check my video manually disable Windows 10 by yourself. I will post a link in the video description. That is all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumb up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching.